A blessed evening to all of you here with us at the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, and also those who are joining us through this live stream. As someone said, one of the most painful experience in life, especially in friendship, is when some your friend betrays you or the one you trust so much betrays you. That is precisely also the confession, or rather what many spouses would say after being betrayed by their partners, betrayal. And uh, we have here one of the, uh, in the account of today's gospel, one of the, uh, we, we see how uh, Jesus predicted the betrayal of one of his uh, disciples. And it must have been a very painful experience as he would say, woe to that man, it would have been better for him not to be born than to betray the son of man. At times we ask, what, what causes one betraying a beloved? In the case of Judas, we would say that in the uh, story of the gospel, we find how he was betrayed. It was at different points in his life. We, you see a person who was who had impure intentions. He was always after a, a duplicity, they would say, no? in the intention. And uh, if we may say so, it is because he saw persons as means, as instruments for one's ends. And this is dangerous. And we would say in uh, the life of, uh, in different instances, where you find, for example, a previous uh, gospel account where he, Judas protested, for example, against that action, loving action of Mary, no? of uh, pouring at the feet of Jesus the, a uh, perfume, no? trying to say that it would have been sold in order to help the poor. No? But the gospel would say, well, he was not actually concerned about the poor, but he was a thief, they would say. Maybe this is, they say that uh, betrayal many times grows. So we, it is rooted many times in the idea that the other person is a means for me. It is a means for my what? For my good, means for my uh, success, and this is dangerous. No? The Lord is inviting us precisely to uh, see our motivations. How do you see people? Do you see them as means or do you see them as truly as partners, as persons endowed with dignity? And this is an important challenge for all of us. Now, I hope that as we, those who enter into relationship like uh, married men and women, I hope that uh, we go beyond the idea of 
having someone no, to cater to your needs and caprices and whims and caprices but rather see persons truly as partners and you would sense I do not know people are not stupid they sense right away when people are using you no? and uh, so I think this is the case at the root of this betrayal of Judas in today's gospel, as we heard in today's gospel. It was because he was so engrossed with his maybe plans or he had that impure motives in following the Lord. We ask then that as we face the Lord who knows our hearts to help us purify our hearts, our intentions, that we may truly love, care others, not out of self-interest, but rather out of true love, concern for that person. And may we be truly partners in our journey towards God. Amen.